MRCEM OSCE course. Preparatory for the Royal College of Emergency Medicine. UK OSCE exam. Website www.mrcemoscecourse.com. Facebook page MRCEM OSCE course. Hello. Uh, my name is Dr. Hassan Abdurrahman, one of the MRCEM OSCE course instructor. Today I'm going to talk about uh, history station. Uh, particularly we are going to address station of uh, headache so before starting this station let's talk uh, briefly about uh, headache and what types of headache we have so we have as you know primary headache and secondary headache uh, primary headache this usually migraine tension type headache cluster headache and headache associated with uh, sexual activity which is coital cephalgia so and uh, in, in in migraine type of headache this is usually unilateral and uh, it is usually built up over minutes to hours and uh, where is with variability in the duration and may last to up to 72 hours and usually preceded by aura in uh, 15 to 30 percent and uh, there is noise and vomiting may be associated with and cluster type headache this usually also unilateral type of headache and the duration from 30 to 2 hours, 30 minutes to 2 hours. In this issue, patient is usually complaining of uh, water of eyes and uh, redness of the eye itself. And as I mentioned, there is no, no aura or no vomiting. And other type, which is tension type headache, this is usually or typically bilateral headache. And it is associated with, uh, it is just like a band or pressing, pressing type, band-like and there is no noise or vomiting and usually uh, not aggravated by physical activity the coital cephalgia and which is uh, associated with uh, sexual activity it usually happened uh, the headache itself it happened at the orgasm time or near orgasm patient coming with coital cephalgia this patient should be addressed uh, properly in the emergency department because this is the, the, the type of headache in such uh, scenario the headache is severe so we have to address the patient we have to examine the patient clearly and we have to take uh, several history uh, points to address the issue because uh, we don't want to miss any abnormality or any serious pathology hidden uh, secondary type headache this is usually subarachnoid hemorrhage uh, meningitis and the space occupying lesion temporal arthritis and acute angle collagen glycoma so uh, before going inside the station or before starting to, uh, to talk about our station, you have to have knowledge regarding red flags of headache. This is vitally important. In emergency department, we are, we are having uh, some sort of red flag for particular illness. So you have to be aware uh, by this uh, component of the red flag. Okay, I'm going to address the red flag of headache here. So you have to memorize it for the purpose of the exam and for the purpose of the real daily activity in the emergency department. So now let's start our station. It is written outside as usual that the patient is coming to the emergency department with complaining of headache. Please take history from the patient and give him management plan accordingly. And you have to look toward the pie chart, break down all the marks. And in each history station, as we mentioned before, you have to have a differential diagnosis in your in your brain before going inside the station this is vitally important and you have to memorize the red flags of headache here so when you're coming inside uh, you find the examiner you greet the examiner you approach your patient you introduce yourself and your position in the emergency department and you confirm the patient identity by asking the patient his name or her name and age and uh, actually uh, then you have to take a uh, reconfirm or reestablish chief complaint of the patient that the patient came to the emergency department with a headache and uh, take consent verbal consent and take the agreement from the patient for the history taking and uh, then offer chaperon and check the level of comfort and prescribe analgesia if the patient is in pain now we will start to address the headache itself so headache this is some sort of pain so we have to address the site of the pain where is the pain itself so the patient should prescribe where is the pain started and the onset when this headache started with the patient sight and characteristic of the pain itself character of the pain and ask about any radiation and ask about the timing and severity and also scoring the pain from 0 to 10 here we will mention one point should be added in this 
in this point particularly here we have to ask about the thunder calf headache thunder calf headache this is a headache that built up over seconds to minute so if the patient is having thunder calf headache this is warning sign so this should be addressed in this point then next step we are going to talk about the red flags itself so ask the patient if the headache is exacerbated by uh, physical exertion or by the position either or by lying down or the headache is increased after coughing or straining or laughing or bending forward this is give us indication about the space occupying lesion then next we have to ask the patient about the uh, as i mentioned headache headache changes with a posture then headache uh, precipitated by physical exertion or by any coughing or straining and if ask the patient if the patient is having headache that awake him from or awake her from the sleep nocturnal headache this also indicate that there is some sort of raised intracranial pressure and give us a suspicion about the space occupying lesion then we have to ask about neurological involvement or neurological symptoms if the patient is having uh, what we call it uh, the patient is having any weakness in his upper or in her lower upper or lower extremity of the patient ask any involvement of the facial muscle expression and if the patient is having paralysis in the uh, facial expression muscles or the if, or if the patient is experiencing any some any 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 uh, slurred speech then we have to address uh, about neck stiffness and fever as well this give us clue about any signs of meningeal irritation neck stiffness and uh, neck stiffness and and fever so then what we have to ask ask about any changing of headache of in patient with uh, age of 50 if the patient is age 50 and above this is also a warning sign that is that there is some sort of pathology going on inside and address the issue of jaw claudication this is give us indication about temporal arteriitis or if the patient is having any scalp tenderness don't forget to ask if the patient is having any history of trauma so like this we cover the aspects of red flags and one another point to be addressed which is vitally important here uh, ask about the risk factors of cerebral venous sinus thrombosis ask about coagulopathy or if the patient is thrombophilic or having any hematological disease polycythemia ask about uh, if the patient is taking any estrogen containing oral contraceptive pills or if the patient is pregnant uh, if she's a female or she is post delivery this is raise the risk of developing cerebral venous sinus thrombosis and this is very important here that uh, should be addressed at this point because it came before in the uh, in the exam that the patient post delivery or patient is pregnant and she's having headache so you have to address the point of cerebral venous sinus uh, thrombosis so here our aim and our target to dig in the history carefully and uh, just don't assume that any headache came to the emergency department this is some sort of benign and primary headache and the patient could be discharged from because this will change the the direction of the station itself if the patient is having warning sign and if the patient is having underlying uh, serious pathology and you this and you discharge the patient and you diagnose him as a simple primary headache and the patient is lifting home so this is vitally important here and you miss the station so you have to take history carefully and you have to uh, address any positive point you have to dig more and ask more several questions if you found any positive point for example if the patient having a subarachnoid hemorrhage so this patient is describing the headache this is sudden onset of headache and the patient and the, the headache is is, is rich up within up to one minute the maximal intensity thunder calp headache and also the patient can prescribe the headache it's just like a blow from the back so this is a warning sign also ask about the meningitis uh, this is usually missed in the emergency department so we should address this issue carefully the patient will, will complaining of headache plus uh, drowsiness or some sort of confusion and also patient may be uh, pyrexic having a temperature ask about the fever as well as we mentioned before and any signs of meningeal irritation and neck stiffness and also photophobia and phonophobia this is vitally particularly photophobia it is a warning sign for meningitis ask, ask also about the space occupying lesion this is 
uh, this component should be addressed carefully. And uh, as we mentioned before, sign and symptoms of a space occupying lesion that the headache is changing with posture and the headache type is nocturnal, awaking the patient up from the sleep. And the patient also asks about seizure. He might experience or the patient might experience some sort of seizure at home. So all this gives uh, us a clue that there is underlying pathology. And don't forget to ask about acute angle collision glycoma. The patient is usually having a unilateral type headache, unilateral type headache with some eye involvement, eye pain. And, uh, and there is also decrease in visual acuity and the patient experiencing hollows and floaters in front of the eyes and reduced visual acuity as we mentioned. So like this here, yeah, you should come to the conclusion that the patient is having some sort of uh, what what type of headache and as i mentioned before very important point don't assume any headache that this is a simple headache so you have to go through all the steps of the red flag and you have to address it clearly to not miss any serious underlying pathology so after this we cover all the aspects now we we ask the patient about past medical history and uh, medication and allergy and medication here, importantly, we have to ask about the uh, anticoagulation if the patient is taking warfarin, aspirin, and Plavix. And uh, if we are suspect that the patient is having bleed inside the brain, so this is raised the risk of uh, re-bleeding again and expansion of the space occupying lesion. And ask about the past surgical history, address the social history as well, uh, smoking, taking alcohol, and illicit drug as well. And uh, like this, uh, you should go to the next step, which is ideas and concern and expectation of the patient and appreciate that. And now here you have to give the patient your management plan, your conclusion from this history taking. You came out by what result or what suspicion. So here you have to break it down to the patient that after this history taking, we came to the conclusion that mostly or properly you, will, you, are, you are complaining of this illness. At least if you came to the one final diagnosis, that's correct and that's excellent. And if you couldn't came with the final diagnosis, at least came with two differential diagnoses and break it down to the patient and give the management plan accordingly. So our management plan will be like this and like that. And prior to this, I will do, I will conduct a proper neurological examination for your uh, upper and lower neurological examination. Then we are going to conduct this investigation accordingly. So, and, and give the opportunity uh, for the patient to ask questions and answer all the patient questions appropriately and then approach to your uh, closure of the station and give the management plan accordingly. So like this, we cover all the aspects related to the uh, headache. Uh, so finally, let's recap again. Uh, you came inside, you already wrote, read your stem outside and you put your differential diagnosis and you memorize your uh, red flags of headache, then you come inside, you greet the examiner, you approach the patient, you introduce yourself and uh, confirm the patient identity and re-establish the chief complaint, you ask about the consent, you ask about chaperone and you give uh, analgesia if, the, if required, then address the pain itself, site onset, character radiation and all other components of the pain, then uh, address the thunder calp headache, then go for, through your red flag, come uh, at the end uh, with conclusion, okay, what's the patient having, and narrow your differential diagnosis, ask about the past medical history, surgical history, medication, particular anticoagulant medication, and ask about the allergies as well, and social history, and ask about the ideas and concern and expectation of the patient, and address his, uh, his concern appropriately, and give opportunity for the patient to ask questions, and answer the patient question appropriately. So like this, we cover all the aspects related to the headache, uh, thank you.